Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos ranging from uh, 12, almost 13, down to one. So I thought it would be an interesting um, topic to make a video on because I do get asked this sometimes and um, I think it's interesting to see other people's um, perspectives and other people, how other people do things in their homes. Um, what our spouse roles are in our house. Now, obviously we have seven kids and um, it's sometimes a task <laughs> to keep this house um, moving along um, day to day and hour to hour, minute to minute. Um, and so I wanted to kind of give an insight on what our roles are between my husband and I in our house. Um, first off, we have traditional roles, um, very traditional roles. Um, I am not caught up on the whole, you know, like I need to have my own career and et cetera, et cetera. That's just not me. Um, I did work before our oldest was, um, in pre-K. I stopped um, working then. I stopped staying at home. I mean, I started staying at home then. Um, I since do little things here and there. Um, pet sitting um, is something that I'm I'm getting back into because it's something that I love doing and I can do easily. And um, it's I was I used to be a vet tech, and so um, that kind of goes with. I want to say my former life because that's not, <laughs> I still, I would still help out and do vet teching, um, periodically after I started staying at home. Um, and I love it. I love, love, love it. So, um, anyway, that is when I started staying at home. So that was about 12, 11 to nine, eight years ago ish, nine years ago. Um, is when I started staying at home. Um, I feel like we were both brought up in mostly traditional, um, homes. And so, um, it's just kind of been our upbringing. Now, um, I, my desire to stay at home is not based on the fact that I feel like I should stay at home. Um, I want to stay at home and that is where my calling is. And that is where I take my, my pride is. And that is where I, um, I feel like I am most um, comfortable is at home doing all of the things. So on a traditional level, we are a traditional feeling. My husband is the um, person that works, um, makes money working. I mean, I work too, but in the house. As it relates to um, money and things like that, I am the one for the most part that pays the bills, that um, has my planner, that has everything down with what we should be doing. And I am pretty much the like, I don't want to say CFO <laughs> because, although my husband has called me that before, but um, it is very much me in control of where things go and he just kind of sits back and trusts that I am doing it correctly. I think that's more of a, that would be more of a weight on him to try and figure out bills and any kind of budget that we do and any kind of, you know, spending that we do. And so for the most part, um, I do all of that. Um, I always joke that I need to really have it written down, like where, things are paid and passwords and usernames and all that because if something happened to me, God forbid, would our mortgage get paid? So <laughs> that is something I probably need to do and I need to work on. I need to focus on is writing down everything so that it is all in one place in case anybody forgets or in case they need that information for anything, etc. cetera. Um, I, he helps out tremendously with baths and with, um, diaper changing and everything. I believe he was the one that changed the very first diaper between the two of us, um, to be honest with you. 
Um, and so he definitely um, carries his load around here even after work. With that being said, I am the one that kind of takes over and um, I kind of make sure that if anybody needs medicine, medicines are done. I have checklists for things. I have, um, you know, I make sure I have, I have orders that I do things. And so he kind of feeds off that, if that makes sense. Um, you know, I can say, okay, this is what we're doing today. I am, I am bathing this one, this one, and this one. If you want to do these three, typically we will trade off um, as far as doing baths one night. Um, and then the other person will do dishes. So whoever does baths or gets the kids ready for bed, the other one does dishes and cleans the table. That's just kind of how we feel like it works. Um, I prefer doing baths and getting the kids ready for bed because I can like check that off my list and make sure that everybody has brushed their teeth, everybody has taken any medicine, if they need to take medicine, their little gummies. Um, I make sure that everything is ready to go, everything. Um, one of my kids wears an eye patch. Okay. Has that, has that been done? That's always, everything is always in the forefront of my mind. And so for him, those are kind of the last things that he's thinking about. He's not thinking about an eye patch or he's not thinking about, you know, his hair been brushed and all that. He's just thinking like, are the kids dressed and ready for bed? Like that kind of thing. So I take it upon myself to kind of take control of that. And he is fine with that. And that is how we work. Um, anything that is like appointments, um, you know, doctor's appointments, I do all that obviously because I'm at home. Um, any communication with doctors, any communication with, um, you know, specialists or insurance or anything like that, it's typically me. Um, again, these are not by um, just because, like by forcing. These are things that I enjoy doing because I like to make sure that I have all my ducks in a row. I don't know where my second child gets her type A personality from. Um, anything typically that relates to building anything that relates to outdoor work, like, well, we have a lawn mowing company, but if, you know, lawn, like mowing or um, things like that. That's all him. Um, I will say I have no problem like gardening um, or, you know, picking weeds out of flower beds, that kind of stuff. But as it relates to things that are being built, things that are um, being constructed, things that need to be fixed around the house, that's all him. That is not me. Um, I couldn't fix some things to save my life. Now I will sometimes try and then I give up very quickly. So, um, that is just not my cup of tea. And so that is how we operate in our house. Um, obviously I do the school stuff. And so it is my responsibility to make sure that all their stuff is done, that they are on track with stuff. Um, and these are, these are kind of roles that we just naturally fell into um like i said your traditional um your traditional roles i mean really that's what it is and um we're both fine with that because it just works it works for our personalities it works for um you know what we're kind of focusing on at this stage he is focusing on work and um you know, all of that, I take care, I, I tell him every day, okay, this is our schedule for today. Like I'll text him and say, this is what we're doing today. Can you be here, here, or here um, at this time? Because I need to be here, here, or here at this time. And we got to somehow get swap kids or et cetera. Um, and so he expects me just kind of as an unsaid, untalked about thing, he expects me to know where the kids need to be and when. And that is really what is in my mind all day or the day before even. Where do my kids need to be? Who needs to pick up who? Who needs to drop off who, etc. So overall, oh, he does car stuff too. I don't do car stuff. Don't ask me to do a battery. Don't ask me to jump a battery. Don't ask me to change a tire. That is something that I need to know how to do. But don't ask me to do it because I don't know how to do it right now. Um, yeah, anything car related, anything vehicle related, that's all him. Um, 
I just, I feel like, like I said, we just kind of fell into these roles naturally because that was kind of how we were brought up and um, it works for us. It works for our personalities. It works for, um, like I said, where we are at this stage and him focusing on work and, you know, being a, a provider for the family and me making sure everything behind the scenes is taken care of and done and checked off. So in case you were wondering with seven kids, how we, how our roles play a part in our house, that is what we do. Um, oh, cleaning. I am, I, I have said before, I do the laundry. I love doing laundry. Weird. I love doing laundry. Um, I will link my little video that I just did on, on laundry, um, up here, but, um, I do the laundry. Um, he doesn't really do the laundry. If I asked him to do the laundry, he would. Um, it's just known that I do it. Um, I put away the clothes, etc. If I asked him to do something, he would do it. But again, it's kind of just like what I gravitate towards. Um, cleaning, I unless there's something that's really bothering him that hasn't been cleaned in a while or something, um, or the garage, he kind of or the garage is kind of his thing. Um, he typically doesn't. Um, um, you know, clean like I clean. And so that is just, again, that is just kind of a type A OCD thing of mine and we're both okay with it. So it works and, you know, why mess with it if it works, right? So that is kind of how we split things, um, in our house with just housework or, um, you know, things outside of the house and schedules, et cetera. There's really not any, 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 um, specifics to it. It's just what works and what we kind of naturally fell into and what our personalities kind of gravitated towards. And that's totally fine. So you do what works best for your family. Um, as all, as I always say, you know, if your roles are flipped, um, and you are the, as a mother, you are the breadwinner and you are the, um, person that goes to work and your husband stays at home. That's totally fine too. Um, but just kind of to give an insight on what we are like in our house. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below and I will see you next time. Bye.